Hi, this is Theo from Pocketblocks.com. Today I'm going to review this watercolor box set that is made by Prima Marketing. I heard about this on the forums at wetcanvas.com and people were commenting, asking about the quality of this watercolor. So today I'm going to test it out. This is the first time I have heard of this company called Prima Marketing. When I went to their website to take a look, it seems that they create art supplies and DIY supplies for people who are into crafting, scrapbooking, journaling, that sort of thing. This is one of three watercolor box sets that they sell. This particular one is called Tropicals. The other two is called Decadent Pies and Classics. The reason why I chose this particular box set is because the colors appear to be much stronger. So this is the packaging. Let's take a look at what's behind. Some marketing text, this the pens, and this is actually made in Korea, so that's uh, interesting to note. Let's take a look at the box. Here we have the box. Let me zoom out a bit. These are the 12 colors that are included in this box. Let's talk about the box itself first. There are two mixing wells here on the cover and four mixing wells here on this flap that opens at the bottom. Let me compare that to my other box set. This is a Rembrandt box, although the colors here are actually Daniel Smith. Three mixing wells at the top and six mixing wells at the bottom. One thing I like about this Prima marketing box is the flap here. It opens up horizontally as compared to my Rembrandt box which opens up and it droops down. So um, one problem that I have with this box is sometimes when I mix colors, I mix too much water here. And the water will droop down, flow here and go all the way and drop down here. And if my leg is there, my shoes is there below that, it will just uh, make a mess out of that. So one advantage of this is it's horizontal. Not just that, you have this uh, area here that is much higher to prevent the water from flowing left or right. Although you can still come out from here, but it's much less of a problem compared to this box. Another thing I like is the area that is between these two rows of watercolor pens. This is quite a big area, so now you can actually fit in two pocket brushes. This is a rosemary pocket brush. And this is a Da Vinci Maestro pocket brush. Both are watercolor brushes. Sometimes I like to bring additional brushes out, maybe one smaller brush for detail work, one bigger brush for um, general painting. Now I can fit two brushes into this box. However, with this box here, I can only fit in one brush. So it's quite limited in that way. Now in addition to putting the brushes there, sometimes you might want to just put additional pans of watercolor. You can do that with this box and just put it into the middle row there. You can fit in six extra pans or up to seven if you squeeze. So you can see here, this is like four pans ready. So you can fit in another two pans there. You cannot do that with this box. If you want to do that, if you want to fix, uh, if you want to put more watercolor into this box, you have to remove this plate here and use this area here. But with this box set now, you can do that. Also, this is also removable as well. So you can easily clean your watercolor box. Very good box. I want to talk about the pricing of this particular box. This box, I bought it on Amazon for US $20. And when I look around for empty watercolor boxes, they cost around $20 as well. So at the same price, if you are going to get the Prima marketing box, you are going to get extra watercolor with it as compared to buying 20 US dollars worth of um, empty watercolor box. With the same price, you can get the box with watercolor. So this is quite a good deal. And if you find that you don't like the watercolor, you can just um, scrape out the paint and put your own paints in. So that's one good thing about this box. Let's uh, test the colors now. I'm going to wet all the colors first so that they are easy to dissolve. I'm using a Da Vinci Maestro pocket brush for this test. 
So when you first open up the pans, the pans will appear to be very dry. So this is a good way to wet them. I usually do this before I paint. Okay, so um, let's start with this color. By the way, there are no names for the colors. They are only identified by their number. And also the colors don't actually come like this. When you first open up the box, they are wrapped up. So, and they are wrapped up and identified by a particular number like 13, 14, 15, 16, that sort of number. So, um, you won't know what sort of colors they are from the number, but you can just look at the colors. Oh, this is quite strong. This is much better than I expect. Semi-opaque. This is like yellow ochre to me. Quite transparent quality so far from this single pan is pretty amazing. This is like gamboche and this is transparent definitely. And the intensity is there. Very good. Next up I have this orange looking light color. This also looks transparent to me. This is like a cadmium orange to me so this is also very strong I'm not sure what this color is this is probably a rose color crinacridon rose perhaps very intense also and this is more like a purplish color oh this is actually quite similar to this color more like a green magenta if I'm not wrong so this is like a rose this is magenta and this is probably burnt amber some sort of a brown color this is going to be very useful when you are mixing with blue colors to get the gray tones now let me go to the green this is a lime green yellow green sort of a color not exactly like sap green i think sap green is a bit more uh, a bit more dialed down. This is much brighter. And another green as well. This is Taylor green to me. Very strong, intense green. I'm going to mix grey tones with this green and these two red colors. Let's take a look at this color now. This is also another green. So I have three greens here. I'm not sure if that's because this box set is called tropical so one of which is taylor green and the other one i'm not sure what kind of green it is called this is much brighter and this is much darker anyway if you are going to mix red into this green you're going to get something like this so this is like a redundant color to me now we have the blue this is like ultramarine or cobalt Probably ultramarine. And this is, I'm not sure what this blue is actually. So, one of which is actually ultramarine, or is this Prussian blue? So, that's the problem because um, the colors are not labeled. And this last color is a purple a very strong purple overall the quality from what i can see right here right now it's it's very strong very very intense the colors are look so good so maybe i'm just going to use this to maybe color a sketch now this yellow ochre light color is really nice i can just use it straight away because it's already dealt down so it's not too glaring when you use it straight away and it's quite strong as well really very nice color so for the roof here probably uh, orange with some rose color Maybe a bit of brown to dial it down.
this is really quite good I'm really enjoying this watercolor box set the colors are very strong very nice so um, this color here is probably Hansa yellow or some sort of yellow also very strong let me mix the shadow areas again I'm not too sure what sort of blue this is I'm not sure if it's actually cobalt blue but let me mix it with the brown and see what colors I get I get a sort of a grayish greenish tone I'm gonna use that to paint the shadow areas and see let me mix some of the other blue this is like a Prussian blue or ultramarine and mix it with the brown and see what I get oops the colors went into the orange have to be very careful um, shadow areas for the bottom of the roof probably using the same color maybe a bit more blue and a bit more brown to neutralize that color and for this area I probably want to use the blue for the sheltered flap that they can pull out so it's this one I'm not sure if the orange is dry yet probably not dry doesn't matter I just want to demonstrate the intensity of the color here maybe I want to switch it to the stronger more intense blue the darker warmer blue so let me try and mix a much darker color I'm going to use this yellow here and mix it with the purple to see what kind of color I can get this is almost going towards black color let's put it here and see what it is yep it's quite dark I'm just gonna use that color here to touch up the darker areas bottom of this roof here which is really really very dark the windows are also dark so I'm just gonna go in and paint over so since it's so dark you won't get to see any transparent transparency here sure there's more water so you can see the lines showing through oops I think this should be yellow color so I made a mistake here anyway I'm just gonna color it like this and ignore that I like the purple now because you can mix very dark darks so I'm just gonna go in this area here to make it really dark and for the ground maybe some sort of a magenta purple thing going on so oh let me just show you the green as well so i'm going to use the bright green earlier on and mix it with some of this magenta color look alike so you can see the green dulls down very fast when you add a magenta i'm going to add a bit more of that finally I'm going to add some colors to areas that I forgot to color earlier on this color here and this area here for the sky perhaps this blue which I don't know what it is so I'm just going to put some blue here just to represent the sky maybe make this area darker because the light is coming from the right side so what can I say about the colors well they are much more intense than I have expected for a box set that costs 20 US dollars this is very good and the color selection is quite good as well except I don't like the three greens that I included maybe it's good to have two greens but this green here is probably redundant so uh, 
yellow green is good and this blue green is also good this green is sort of like redundant the purple is nice as well you can mix it with the yellows to get really dark darks the red the rose and the magenta are very nice you can use them to neutralize the green colors the orange is very strong as well and the naples yellow or the yellow ochre i love it because you can just use it straight from the pan without mixing with other colors because it's already muted down and also you can use this color to make skin tones that would be very nice the only downside to this box set would be the lack of information with regards to what pigments are used and also how light fast the paints are but overall i say this is a good deal because like i've said earlier if you want to buy an empty watercolor box those usually cost around us 20 dollars but this is us 20 dollars and you get colors to go with it so this is a terrific deal so yeah that's all for my review today if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section below i will try to answer them and if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel do so for more art product reviews sketching tips techniques and also if you find this video helpful you can share it with your friends as well thanks for watching see you in the next video bye